Donald Trump sad to see beautiful Confederate statues torn down after Charlottesville violence U.S. President Donald Trump has defiantly reiterated his opposition to the removal of monuments to the pro-slavery Civil War Confederacy, saying he was saddened to see the beautiful statues being removed from cities around the country. Mr. Trump has been engulfed in controversy strongly rebuked by members of his own Republican Party and snubbed by a string of American business leaders, over his reaction to the unrest in Charlottesville on Saturday. In a series of Twitter posts, Mr. Trump showed no sign of backing down. He criticized efforts in a growing number of U.S. states, including Florida, Kentucky, Maryland, North Carolina, Tennessee, and Texas, to remove statues honoring Confederate leaders. Sad to see the history and culture of our great country being ripped apart with the removal of our beautiful statues and monuments, he wrote. The clashes flared in Charlottesville when a white supremacist rally called to protest against the planned removal from a park of a statue of Confederate Army Commander General Robert E. Lee was met with anti racism counter protesters. A woman was killed when a suspected white nationalist crashed his car into the counter protesters. Confederate symbols and monuments are viewed by many Americans as symbols of hate. Mr. Trump had also expressed distaste for removing statues of Confederate commanders in a heated news conference on Tuesday during which he blamed the violence in Charlottesville on not just the white nationalist rally organizers but the counter-protesters, and said there were very fine people on both sides. His comments ignited a storm of criticism. Mr. Trump earlier lashed out at Republican U.S. Senators Lindsey Graham and Jeff Flake, two leading critics, as well as the media, and said he not had drawn any moral comparisons between white supremacists and those who opposed them. Mr. Graham said on Wednesday Mr. Trump's words suggested moral equivalency between the two sides and called on the president to use his words to heal Americans. Publicity seeking Lindsey Graham falsely stated that I said there is moral equivalency between the KKK, neo Nazis, and white supremacists and people like Hems Hayer. Such a disgusting lie. He just can't forget his election trouncing. The people of South Carolina will remember. Mr. Trump wrote. Mr. Trump was referring to 32 year old Heather Hayer, the woman killed in Charlottesville.